Right, this is a Von Dupin 2670 Gardex, identifiable by the really large center case and the red signage on its push pad says emergency exit only, alarm will sound. Uh, one thing to notice is the push pad signage is handed, but to change it around all you do is push it out and turn it around and then slide it back in. All right, with the cover off, you can see uh, this right here in the middle is where your rim cylinder would go. There's a pretty large internal horn, pretty loud internal horn, and this is where your 9 volt would go. Uh, fun thing about the 2670 is there are two components on this that are timed. Uh, first, the actuator that your rim cylinder tailpiece goes in has to be timed correctly for, uh, during initial install, and there's a small actuator right underneath this board that has to be timed. We're going to go over those now. All right, underneath the PCB, there is this little black actuator here that rests against this metal clip. And sometimes it gets popped and flips to the wrong side and you simply just have to flip it back. I'm going to take the board off and show you guys a better view. All right, tried to zoom this up a little bit so you guys can see better. So this is with the board off. There's, as like I said, there's two components that are timed. The first one is the crosshairs. You can see there's a little notch on it right here, and on the back there's another notch. What you have to do is rotate it fully counterclockwise till it's completely retracted, and then line those two notches up. That part is now done. Now the switching link, right now it's correct. If it was on this side, you simply need to flip it back over and at this point, if it was fully assembled, you would just put your rim cylinder in and it would work correctly. You can always tell when something is timed wrong on this device if turning the key back and forth sounds the horn, but hitting the push pad does not.